What's up everybody? It's Kyle once again, the world's leading expert on patellar tendon ruptures. Um, you can read about my backstory if you like. Quickly, I've done both patellar tendons and uh, about five to six other ligaments in each leg. This was all uh, about two years apart and I rehabbed them uh, way ahead of schedule. Helped uh, hundreds of people now around the world recover from this. So that's one of the missions. When this happened, I said, okay, I want to be able to help other people that are gonna go through this because it was a very scary injury because there wasn't any information out there on it. So today's tip, I know I've made videos on this before, but if you have your injured leg, let's say it's my right leg, and you're just starting to work on range of motion, you would take a chair, you can do this off the edge of the bed, use a band, okay, picture I have a band in my hand, get that leg into position, okay? Then what I would do with my good leg, I would put it below that leg, and I would slowly lower until I feel discomfort, then I would come back up. Nice and simple. And you're not gonna have one of your dogs get underneath you like that but down and up, and I would keep working the range of motion. Up and down, up and down. Start with 100 reps a night, break it up however you want, and keep increasing that, just be consistent with it. In the next video, I will do that again with the wrapping, because a lot of people still ask me about the booty wrapping. It's just the next level of the passive range of motion. So if you have any questions on patella tendon ruptures, please post them below. I'll be glad to get back to you and help you out in any way possible. And if you're interested in getting the manual, that is below, too, with the link. Peace.